guys and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today is the try on haul, finally. I don't know what took me so long, but here it is, I have it. Um, this is all high street stuff and um, so it, most of it is super affordable. I got some great deals. So there have been a lot of trends happening recently that I didn't really think I was gonna get like onto the bandwagon of, because but some of them I was just really, really loving. If you end up enjoying this video, please hit the subscribe button and try to find me on social media. I will leave all of my um, links and everything down below in the description box. And um, I'm gonna not ramble on a whole bunch this time, hopefully, and I'm gonna get started. Uh, so the first, the first thing I wanna talk about is this top that I purchased from BB. I'm gonna, um, in the split screen, I will do a full, like, Full view of it. It is nice and bell sleeved and it has stripes and everything like that. And, um, I went into my local store here in Miami and they had signs all over the store saying they were going out of business so that's really really unfortunate um, but all the clothing in there was a discount off of the tag price. Um, I was able to get this for, for quite a deal. I think I bought this for 30 or 35 dollars and another thing I do want to mention is that if you, I, I will link, um, I'll, I'll have links to everything down below that I can still find but this top on the website was much longer and as you can see this is definitely a crop top on me. I bought this in an extra extra small. I definitely think it's my best fit but it is a crop top on me for sure. I don't plan on wearing it with high waisted stuff just because I think it's a little bit too long, but I am more comfortable with showing a little bit of my midriff. Uh, but if you're not, then I definitely would take that under consideration before um, ordering this top because it is quite short. So my next order was from H&M and it was just this satiny, beigey taupe, sand, whatever color you want to call this, um, blouse. I really love blouses like this and it's also a lot longer in the back as you can see. Um, this was originally $20. I bought it in a size 6. Normally in H&M I'm, I'm a 4, but um, this is all they had left. This was on sale actually, so um, I found it and it was $7. I, def I definitely have tops like this already, but I definitely but um, this one I wanted to get a little bit oversized to show it's a little bit more relaxed and casual looking. So I, I just really what really sold me was the material used in this. It feel it's polyester, but it's actually quite nice feeling, and it'll be really light and breathable for summer. Next, I have these high waisted shorts. Now I think that H and M is doing such H and M and Zara now are, have such great denim, and I'm really really happy with everything that I that I got. The only thing with these is that they are high waisted. I bought them in a size four, which is my normal size for H and M, and I feel like they fit my waist great, and they're you know they look good on my butt and everything like that. They have that sort of a wedgie fit that's really in right now, but I feel like for me they're too short, and I. I'm thinking that maybe like I've outgrown the super shorty shorts even though you'll see what I'm wearing today and they're definitely short but I feel like this is a little bit too short for me. I feel like I've sort of passed this point in my life which may sound crazy or not, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> I just think they are they look great in the front but in the back I feel like they're maybe a little bit too short on my butt and I don't know. I don't know. Next, we have this denim skirt, but I wore this in my last video where I was doing my handbags and I didn't buy a tag, and you could sort of see it, and it didn't look super flattering when I was sitting down in it, but this skirt is so cute on, and it fits really, really well. I did get it a little bit tighter because I definitely wanted it to, you know, sort of enhance my um, silhouette a little bit better so and I had, do have a very small waist it's usually hard for me to find high-waisted things because if it fits my waist then it'll be too small on my butt and if it fits my butt then it'll be too big in the waist I'm sure everyone and most people can uh, identify with that but um, this is a little bit tight but I really like the way that it fits and I love the wash and everything like that. And I also like that it is frayed and also a little bit longer in the back. And this is going to be a staple for me, definitely for the summer and certainly, and I hope for the next few years. So be prepared to see this a lot. I have been searching high and low for, for a gingham piece for the season. And this, I feel like, is it. I'm so happy with it. The only thing is that I don't really love ginghams and plaids and I didn't really love what I was finding out there. I felt I felt like it was maybe too ruffly and too frilly and a little bit too like too out there for me. I didn't really want to go for it. But this I feel like has the 
pattern of the season, but it's also not too busy and too detailed. You'll see it in the split screen. It also has these straps here, but I plan on either cutting these off or just tucking them into the dress because I really prefer this to be um, just an off shoulder. Um, I don't really like how it looks with that. Um, oh, yes, another thing is that this was originally $34.99. I was like, eh, am I really into this trend? But then I found out that it was half price and I got it for $15. Um, this one I actually bought in a two in H&M, which is, um, normally I'm an extra small. I get the smallest size in most designers, but uh, at H&M they tend to run very, very small. So I usually get a four, but this one I got in a two. And it zips up the side. Super happy with this. Okay guys, sorry about that. Um, I am back now. Uh, it's been a couple of days. Oh, it's been a couple of days since I shot that last portion of the video. Um, I got interrupted and had to do some house stuff uh, at the last minute and I don't know why, for some reason, this haul has taken me a month to put together. What? Why? <laughs> um, so this next piece here, uh, this piece actually I got wrong in my August, April, in my April favorites video. Um, this is the Derek Lamb 10 Crosby for Intermix. Yeah, I thought it was Philip Lim, but it's actually Derek Lamb. My bad. <laughs> but uh, this is just a beautiful paisley silk sheer top with little ties at the sleeves. Um, I think it really goes into the, you know, exaggerated sleeve trend without being, you know, a lot. And I have loved and lived in this top for the past few months now, but I did want to mention it because I really, really do love it. So the next are two off-shoulder tops from Gilt. This one is black, and it's just like a nice, really stretchy material. I love that the sleeves are very long, and if you look closely, the texture of it is like a sort of ribbed material, and it is very, very stretchy. It is by Bailey44, and I have it in a size extra small. So next is this one. And this is just a white, um, sort of silky feeling uh, off-shoulder top from Luca Couture. Um, Luca Couture I mostly only see on Gilt, but it's just, I really like the material. And I have this one in an extra small as well. It's polyester, but it's like a good, it has a good weight and everything to it. And it looks great with jeans. So the next piece here um, is from Misguided. Right, I actually didn't know much about Misguided until... Um, probably a few months ago. I don't know why. Um, this is the first thing, first or second thing that I've ever ordered from there. And it is this cold shoulder satin type top with bell sleeves and ties. And, um, but I do really, really like this. I think it looks great with my, my denim cutoffs that I practically live in. I'm actually wearing them now. As, as you can see, it's been a couple of days since I filmed my last <laughs> portion of that video. And yes, I have been living in this, this H&M top. Like, it's, it's incredible. Like, yeah, this, this is definitely going to be a mainstay in my wardrobe for a while. But, back to this <laughs> misguided top. Well, I got it in a UK 4, which is a US 0. And... It is, you know, slightly oversized. I like to tuck it into whatever pants I'm wearing. Now, you do have to double knot this because because of the material, it definitely will come untied a lot. And also, really quickly, I just picked this up today, actually. Um, but this is a, another H&M piece. Um, I've actually already returned the shorts that I mentioned earlier in the video, and I'm very glad that I did because, yeah, they were they were too much for me. They were too, way too short. When I went to go return the shorts today, I found this bikini, and I think it's super cute. Um, it is yellow, and I realized that I, yellow is one of my favorite colors, but I don't really own much of anything yellow. Um, I will not be trying this on, but it's pretty straightforward. A bandeau top with bottoms and a nice, you know, cute little antique floral print. I got this in a size 6, and I'm about a 32C at the moment, and then this I got in a size 2. Last but not least is Zara, and Zara has been absolutely killing it in my eyes right now. Um, I've gotten so many great pieces from Zara in the past few months, I guess. Yeah, past few months to a year. What I'll be showing you today are just two pairs of jeans and a dress. Now, these jeans, I also mentioned in my April favorites, but I told you I was going to try them on and show you. These jeans are incredible. These are blue jeggings, and they are distressed. They are part of the Love Your Curves collection, and they are just really super stretchy jeggings. Like, look at that. 
These are cropped and I love them, but they're sort of like a very bright blue and they're a little bit hard to wear with certain things. So I did go back and buy them in the regular light wash. It's the Truffleuck de denim wear. Um, show me your curves, jeggings, something like that. I'll link them down below. They were still available online when I checked last week. This is just a light wash and with a little bit of distressing here and also on the, you know, bottom hems. These are not cropped and I really, really wish they were. Don't want to fold, like just fold them up or cuff them because they do have this cool distressing here on the, on the bottom and I really like that. Oh, also I forgot to mention in the last video, I got both of these in a US 4. Um, I think in Zara, I usually wear an extra small and I probably could have sized down in these, but there was really no, no reason to. Um, I told myself before I started shopping for all of these things, don't buy any more off-shoulder tops because I have a bunch and what did I do? I have like three off-shoulder things in this haul and don't buy any more jeans because I have so many jeans and what I realized is that I didn't have these two colors so now I'm for real done with jeans. I'm not buying any more jeans. Mark my words, I'm gonna say no more jeans and come back with another pair of jeans but you know you can never go wrong with jeans. I've already worn both of these probably ten times already so I love them. Uh, I really, really recommend these and they're super comfortable and they're really stretchy and they're great. I just have cannot sing enough praises about these jeans. They're, they're awesome. So this last piece is the reason I'm even filming this haul. I saw this dress on Instagram and I think I'm, I think I'm going to try and insert the picture that I saw on Instagram. It was by, I think her name is We Wore What? Um, I hope I'm right. Let's just show you the picture. I saw this dress scrolling through my Instagram feed and immediately said, oh my god, what is this dress? I need this dress. I found it. Surprisingly, it was Zara. I immediately, immediately went onto Zara's website, found the dress, ordered it in cart. Um, I tried to call my local store and they didn't have one in stock. So yeah, very, very rarely do I shop Zara online, but this time I had to make an exception. This is the dress. It is white pinstripe denim with frays at the hem and it has this beautiful ruffle one shoulder detail here and it is just incredible. I love this dress so 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 much. I know this isn't going to be like a forever mainstay piece but I do feel like it's just because it, it does make such a statement. Um, it does give me very like you know Carrie Bradshaw vibes a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> like I told myself I wasn't gonna do ruffles, but I felt saw this dress and fell in love with it. I bought this in an extra small. It came out to being like fifty or fifty five dollars, and yeah, I'm just so shocked that this being as statement making and fashion forward as it is was Zara. Like what? The ruffles, sorry, not the ruffles. The distressing on the bottom, like the raw hem. Um, on the denim sort of takes a little bit of the frou-frou-ness out of this dress and I hope it doesn't come off as like too much because it's very a lot. So yes, this is my favorite dress for the moment and I'm obsessed with it. While I was out of town over um, over the weekend, my luggage was lost and I had an event to go to that night and so I had to find a new outfit to wear that night while I was waiting for my luggage to get delivered to my hotel and we found these. Um, these were such good luck. Uh, my mom actually found these. So these are actually from Charlotte Roos, if you can believe that. And we got, I think the store we went to was named, it was sort of like a Plato's Closet, sort of like a Buffalo Exchange, it was that type of deal. Uh, they are Charlotte Roos and they got them in a size 9. They are pink faux suede and with a really high heel and they fit me perfectly. They're super comfortable and I just absolutely love them. And the absolute best part is that I bought these for eight dollars. So yes, I'm super happy and one thing I really, really am happy about and honestly is that suede is not my favorite because it is so delicate. Um, but I do really, and especially lighter colored suede, I would have loved to have had a designer version of this shoe, but Suede just goes bad so quickly. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you. Well, these are my Jumvito Rossi um, lace up round toe pumps. And as you can see, like I'm always super careful when I wear these. And you know what? The lights are just gonna blow these out. So maybe you won't be able to see it. But yeah, it's, it's really hard to tell. But these shoes like just get super scuffed and beat up no matter how careful I am with them. And I have to like go the extra mile to be careful when wearing these shoes. And you know, 
So I'm done buying designer suede shoes. These are faux suede. You know, I bought them for $8, but I'm sure that they wouldn't be $8 when if you were to buy them from Charlotte Russe. But um, yeah, so for stuff like this, I definitely, definitely am going to look at less expensive options just so I can try it out without fully committing and feeling like I wasted my money, you know? So yeah, these were the winners, I think, of the haul. <laughs> so that is everything for now. And um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the items I put out. I hope I really, really hope that enough, um, too much time hasn't gone by, and a lot of these things, a lot of these things are still available. Um, another thing is that I filmed my, my hair routine, and I didn't like the way it turned out. I may upload it anyway. That is most will most likely be my next video. We're gonna see if we end up, if I end up uploading that because I didn't like the footage, but what we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, so stay tuned for that and um, there's a bell icon down there that notifies you whenever I upload a new video and I'm really trying to do one a week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're new here and you'd like to see more from me. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!